to either or both of you from your point of view from the first half when you guys used the small ball lineup to kind of take the momentum in the second quarter what went awry in the third and fourth that you couldn't hold on to that moment um, it just came out second half went zone messed up a little bit um, but yeah they just came out had a little momentum and then you know ran with it a little bit from there yeah, it wasn't really a defensive issue as much as that one was kind of offensive. You know, you're playing against a set defense every time. Um, they're in that zone, kind of slowed us down a little bit. Um, we only had 14 points in that third quarter, you know. And in playoff games like this, those, those, you know, when they feel like they're getting stops, that, that gives them juice. And it's all about trying to take that away. Um, so we didn't do a good enough job of that coming out of half. Did you guys feel that you got the quality of offensive looks that you would want uh, and just make or miss league? You just, some of those shots didn't go down? You know, at times, at times. Um, I thought we got a couple good looks that just didn't go down, but I, I think it was the pace of it, you know, where we're, 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 we're taking shots late in the shot clock. Um, we're taking deep threes. Um, I think there's an element of attacking that zone that we can uh, improve on. Um, and, you know, we'll go back and watch it and see where those areas are. So well for you in the first half, and then just what changed with the way they're going in the second. And I mean, you know, I I got some good looks at it. Um, we play with a little pace, you know, guys creating, and I was just kind of in the opportune spots in the first half. Um, in the second, you know, that zone was in the corner a lot, um, and you know, it just kind of mucked up the game from there. But. There's still so many more areas of the game that you can impact, that you can, you know, make plays in that, that I need to capitalize on better. So whichever one of you want to answer, um, Maxi had 13, I think, in game one, and tonight he kind of got loose. Just what did you see from him either on the defensive end on your end or offensively on Philly that allowed him to have the impact he had tonight? Yeah, he was the beneficiary of a lot of our rotations. He's in that corner, kind of just waiting on those threes. and. Uh, those ones are tough to give up, man, because he's just teeing them off, making them, and he's a guy that's capable, shoots a high percentage, shoot, shot, has been shooting a high percentage, so it's nothing that we should be surprised by. Um, but, man, he was there finding him, and, uh, you know, they kind of stressed our rotations a little bit. It's another thing that we just got to go back and uh, look at and try to clean up. Is it kind of like pick your poison almost, where you guys defended Joel pretty well and James pretty well, but at the end of the day, someone's going to get open. To an extent, there, there's, there's, a, there's an element to that, but at the same time, um, that's not a poison you want to pick. Maxi teeing off threes, open threes from the corner. Um, and, and so, like I said, we'll go back, look at what we're doing, and adjust. I mean, Harden, you know, was on the wrong side of that one today. Um, eight points, and that's what we want to do. But in, in games like this, the, that, that 33 from Maxi um, on efficiency is, is, is pretty killer. I mean, just guys speak to the margin for error you guys have with you can take uh, Harden and Joel, but still lose because of some of those other factors like that. Right, but it, that's playoff basketball, man. It's a good team. Um, guys are blocked in, playing at their highest level, highest focus. So you got to expect to a degree that, that somebody's going to step up their game. Um, and it's not like he's he's not a usual sp suspect. The, the guy can score the ball. Um, so that's that. Is that your career? I don't think so, no. What did you? As you were driving towards the basket, what do you remember seeing and thinking? On the dunk? Yeah. I thought Embiid was kind of a step behind, and I had a, a lane. Um, I thought there was times last game where I should have dunked, and I said that. Um, so I just thought I'd take advantage of an opportunity at, at that point. Mikhail, you had seven assists. Uh, were, were you anticipating that the doubles that you saw in the second half in game one would continue in game two? And what did you? What were you able to read when that happened? Yeah, just um. <laughs> Trying to stay aggressive and, you know, find my teammates. Um, you know, I got ultimate confidence in them, and that's what it was. They just they showed the blitz first game at the second half and kind of waited if they did it again. Um, and they did. It's just trying to make the right play. Confident that when you, after the small ball that worked so well and the quality of looks that you got and just didn't knock down. Um, does that give you some confidence that if you can carry that over into the Brooklyn game and just hit those shots, you'll live 
with you know, some of the rebounding discrepancy or some of the second chance points discrepancy? Yeah, I think so. I think you're, you're, you're on there. Um, but I don't think that's an area where we can just lay down and accept the fact that they'll out-rebound us. I mean, look, Tobias is sneaking in there, five offensive rebounds. I think we just got to continue to do a better job putting bodies on them. You know, they're, they're, they're not, you know, small guys by, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, they're big. They can get in there and rebound. Um, so we just got to turn the game as physical as we can. Um, you know, we got to kind of embrace that, that griminess to it and, and continue to fight. But... Um, yeah, it's a, that's a, that's part of it. The small ball, trying to trying to influence the game in our direction. Um, that's 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 part of the, the the challenge, and you know you gotta you gotta rise to that challenge. Mikhail, obviously, you see a fair amount of James out west, but I mean, when you're guarding him, uh, what are the things that I guess you're trying to get done that allowed you to be effective? Just not try to let him score. Just try to keep him in front of me and just guard. Okay. I know it's a loss, but could you describe the feeling of being able to dunk on an Embiid? I don't really mean that much. Um, it's just two points. Um, like I said, I just thought I saw an opportunity and took it, and there's not really much more to it. Um, I'm more concerned about wins than dunks. Jock talked about how there are certain players that you guys would rather leave open on threes and then when the Sixers put out their shooters that they won't be shooting, you need to take advantage of those matchups. Do you feel like that there are matchups you guys weren't taking advantage of on offense? They're defenders? Yeah. Yeah, but they were doing a good, they were doing a, a, you know, a, a solid job of um, kind of trying to cover that up and the zone covered that up a lot, you know, and, and that was the purpose of it, to slow us down, to, to take us out of those um, advantages that we have found throughout the first, you know, 50, 60 minutes of basketball that we played. Um, so like I said, man, playoffs is just about adjustment after adjustment um, and, and really locking in and figuring out what what's going right and what's going wrong and just doing your best to, to combat that. Did the zone surprise you at all? No. You guys have been making a lot of the adjustments. So. No, the zone didn't surprise us.